Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, we're going to be going over the best gold printers with enchanting and tailoring. Now, what that means is sort of taking linen, wool, silk, mage weave, rune cloth, and just sort of exploring the best ways to sort of make gold with that. Some of those things are going to be just tailoring, but I've paired it with enchanting because I think tailoring and enchanting go hand in hand, mainly because tailoring is supplied from just killing humanoids and looting their cloth, unlike a lot of the other professions like leatherworking and black thing which require mining and skinning to use so i'm going to go over just tailoring methods as well as what you can pair it with with enchanting for all of the cloths but before we get into the video be sure to like comment and subscribe everything you guys do helps my channel grow helps me get discovered and helps me help as many people as possible which is the entire point of my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing that we're going to talk about is linen cloth well while linen cloth is the base level of things and you can even make a bank tune get it to level five and sort of do this method early on if you choose to um linen cloth the best thing you're gonna do is just sort of get to brown linen robes this is the most simple thing to make it'll give you strange dust as well as uh lesser and greater magic essences which is the main uh, thing that you're going to be making with linen cloth because the strange dust doesn't really sell much but with those essences you can make a lesser magic wand as well as a greater magic wand and you can pretty much just vendor these for their vendor price um and make the most money they sell but selling them for like one silver to someone else extra just really isn't worth it in my opinion it's much faster just to craft it get the free enchanting levels and you can do this like and get your enchanting all the way up to like 125 just by making the greater magic wands and lesser wands and it pretty much pays for itself if not is profitable you can even sometimes buy linen and sort of do a little gamba with that Next, we are going to go talk about wool cloth. So, wool cloth is pretty easy on the alliance to get. I was not expecting how easy it was. Um, I made a lot of wool bags early on and just sold those for 20 silver ish a piece. And I felt like that was a great way to just sort of make profit with that. Um, same with linen, you can just make the bags and sell those without your enchanting. But it's a little bit, it's really not worth it, honestly. I'd definitely pair the linen with that. Um, and then we have the wool bags and then also with wool it's a bit weird but a, a lot of the gear people buy are pearl class capes woolen boots and gray woolen robes you can make them into um gear and just sell these as you can see it's a four stamp five int chest at level 16 which is really really good um and then we have uh the making the bags as well if you also you could de that gear if you really wanted to um, but usually it sells better than the mass wood for wool at least next we're going to be talking about silk cloth now silk there's so much of this drops for the alliance it's insane um i was also surprised like wool and silk you get so much more than horrid it's kind of crazy um but the silk the best things that i was making with this were going to be small silk packs i've made a fortune selling these everyone buys them they're just at that great point where it is cheap to get as well as it profits immensely so you can make a ton of gold by doing that um once so small silk packs sort of die down and the player base gets a little higher the best things that you can make to disenchant are going to be making these green silken shoulders they're the easiest to make as well as the de for the best vision dust and um the other materials sell for a decent amount still because a lot of people are leveling enchanting now also with silk there are things that you can profit with as such as the azure set a lot of frost mages go with this especially if they're frost bolting um enchanters cows sell very nicely as well um the shadow hood is a great one for warlocks uh, all of these things people have had me make for them in order to better their characters and so you can always take a look at those just if you want to make it and sell. But I w bags were the simplest for me. It's just easy to make. They sell almost instantly because of so many people going through it. Now, f next we have Mage Weave Cloth. Mage Weave is where you start to seriously see some 
investment in order to sort of make stuff and as well as the gamba either pays off or fails miserably just depends on your luck mage weave bags are selling still pretty rapidly and they're very simple to make um i would do this early and then when your tailoring gets to the point where you can make black mage weave headbands shoulders boots i would definitely recommend doing headbands and shoulders uh they are level 41 and de for some nice dream dust as well as some greater nether essences so if you're out there farming your own mage weave cloth it is pure profit you can sometimes buy it off the ah but it is a gamba um because if you don't roll either the highest dust you can or two greater nether essences you're going to lose money on those so just check your price points see what you can get if you want to sort of do the gamba strategy with that then finally we have our rune cloth now rune cloth is eventually it becomes really cheap because everyone high levels out there farming and stuff but right now with the server only being two weeks old it's quite expensive to buy stuff so none of the gambas really work too well however i've just sort of taken all my rune cloth bolts and turned it into rune cloth bags uh, the recipe is a bit of a pain to go and get, but if you go to winter, spring, early on, you can do it at 48. If you go and do the fur bog quest, get them to unfriendly, you can travel through the cave and getting to winter, spring is pretty easy. And then you can go farm it, the recipe from the vendor. But pretty much I just make rune cloth bags. These sell like crazy. Um, they're about three gold profit per. Um, and once you start to get higher up in the tailoring, you can make some of these very nice items uh wizard reef turbans are level 56 items so this puts it in a higher class of disenchanting tiers where you can get five illusion dust per as well as two greater eternal essences but there just isn't the market for it right now with the server being so early and not too many people being at 60 um that makes it a little harder to sort of sell those enchanting mats i would definitely if you're going to do anything just sort of either sell bags or hold off on these mats and save it for a month or so once people really are raiding and going after those enchants because i think you'll make a lot more gold that way however wizard weave turban is the best one to do it you have to actually go out there and farm the materials are the recipe in the ruins of anderhall in western plague lands or sorry in eastern plague lands and so um but it is very profitable if you do not do that another option is rune cloth shoulders these are also 56 um these are a decent thing to disenchant as well both of these require 300 tailings so i would just make rune cloth bags till your tailings maxed and then you make these and disenchant them those are the best two items that you can do you can pretty much do any of the other rune cloth stuff if you want uh, gloves waists uh, stuff like that early on just to get your level up but i'm going the rune cloth bag method and sort of profiting off of that from just sort of all the rune cloth i get while leveling then finally important thing if you do make that haul all the way to winter spring you can buy the moon cloth pattern and luckily alliance has a moon well in the stormwind it is the stormwind park it counts as a moon well so just make your moon cloth if you plan on being a priest healer or something like that you might want to consider saving it but i'm selling it right now because you can sell it for 20 to 30 gold per moon cloth cooldown a lot of people a lot of the top end guilds like hardcore elite and frontier really need those moon cloth for their healers to sort of push bwl aq and nax ramus so it's kind of crazy how much it is selling for and the fell cloth is dirt cheap right now so it just sort of is pure profit every four days so definitely one of the biggest easiest profit makers for 250 plus tailors but anyway guys that's sort of it for this video i hope this helps you make a ton of profit if you are a tailor enchanter anything like that if you have any questions anything you think i missed or anything you want to add to the video definitely drop it down below in the comments and i'll do my best to get back to you but until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day. And that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.